Hey everyone, this is Joseph Cairns from the DevNet Sandbox team. Just wanted to take a few minutes of your time to show you one of our latest topologies, the Sandbox Intro Lab. So this lab has been specifically designed for demonstration purposes at events or for newcomers to the Sandbox to browse around, select a topology, see how the GUI works, and access some resources. So for those of you who are not familiar with the with DevNet or with Sandbox, what you do is you go to developer.cisco.com. Okay, this is the main DevNet site. So DevNet hosts all the API information for all Cisco technologies, such as collaboration, uh, data center, networking, security. So I would encourage you to browse through the site to find out any information uh, API sample code, documentation, videos, etc. Um, about the technology you're interested in. Also very important is to sign up. So if you're not a registered member, it's completely free and it takes a couple of minutes. So if you're doing, if you're planning to do any kind of development work with Cisco APIs, this is the first place you come to. So to access the sandbox, just hit on this, the sandbox link here. We'll open the sandbox page. Once you're logged in, you hit the get started link and it, you will get access then to our portal. So Sandbox is part of the DevNet offering and what it is, it's a hosted lab environment for all of the Cisco technologies covered in DevNet. And it's 24 seven available and it's completely free. And each of these labs is presented as a tile, such as this one here. And, we, and you can also browse, browse by category. So when you get some time, come back, just log in, browse through all the tiles, have a look, see what you're interested in. Um, now today, I'm only going to be concentrating on this particular top, uh, topology, the intro lab. Uh, but if you do get time, come in and take a look around and see what we have. So each sandbox is presented as a tile. So to get more information about the resources in there, um, just click on it. So this is the main topology page. Um, the resources are presented by these graphics here. In this particular sandbox, we have three resources. We have a CSR1000V cloud services router. We have a Windows server, and we have a call manager publisher. On the left-hand side, we have the instructions pane, um, which uh, is divided up into tabs. So we have an overview tab with some general information and some lab types. And we have some reserving tabs. It tells you how to reserve the lab and access the, the resources. We have another tab about VPN access. You'll need this to access the sandbox when your reservation is up and running. We also have some tasks. Uh, so just some exercises you can do to uh, become familiar with the resources and, and uh, play, play with a few APIs. And we also have a call the sandbox booth. I'll talk, to, I'll talk about that later. It's specific to Cisco Live in Las Vegas. So in order to access these resources, the first thing we need to do is reserve. This is considered a reservation-based technology. So to access these, we have to reserve, reserve it for a certain length of time. So you can do that by just hitting the reserve button up here. This brings up a separate window where you can set your schedule. Anything up to five days is fine. Um, but you can take, let's just book this for two hours and hit reserve. It just takes a couple of moments to uh, for the reserving to complete. So at this stage, the topology goes into setup mode, okay? Um, and this takes, in, in this for this particular uh, topology, it will take about one minute. Now for other technologies in the sandbox, you will notice that the setup time varies. So it depends on how long it takes to set up the actual resources. Some resources are very um, intensive on CPU and on backend resources, so they take longer. But in this case, uh, it's about one minute to 90 seconds. 
So, so after about 90 seconds, um, the topology will become active. So that means that the resources are now available for you to access them. So at this point, you will be sent an email, and that email will contain information for VPN connectivity. So in order to access this private VLAN, we call RAVE19, but that may change, you will need Cisco AnyConnect. Okay, so if you, if you need more any, more information about Cisco AnyConnect, just go over here to the VPN access tab, and it will tell you how to download it, how to configure it, how to connect to your lab. So I'm not gonna bring up the, the email right now, but on the, the, we have an output window here, which is a small window here at the bottom of the screen, which gives some information during setup and teardown, etc. So the information for v VPN connectivity is listed here. So this is our URL that we connect to, and we have a username and password. Now, just for simplicity, I've already already connected here to Rave 19. Okay, so I'm already connected, but just to be aware that you will need Cisco AnyConnect and these uh, these uh, credentials, <coughs> and they're sent out to you at the start of the reservation. So now that the, t the topology is up and running, we're connected into this private VLAN, it's pretty easy to access these topologies, or, sorry, these resources. So once this is in active mode, it's pretty straightforward to access these resources. All you have to do is hover over the resource, select more options, There'll be, and down here there'll be a list of access methods. So for the CSR1000V, SSH is the only access method. So let's click SSH, a new window or tab will form, and you're now connected to the CSR1000. So let's just show run. Yeah, so there's some basic config there. Windows box, the same way. We have remote desktop connection. Connect in. Pretty straightforward. No need to open a new tab or a, a new um, remote desktop connection session. And for the CUC and publisher, HTTP. Call manager access. Okay, it's 10.5, call manager 10.5. So it's, it is really straightforward. So that's basically all I wanted to show you today. I wanted to introduce this new topology, which is designed for demonstration purposes. Uh, three very simple resources that um, that show the different access methods from SSH to RDP to browser. I would also encourage you to have a go at the, at the tasks here. So we have some pretty simple tasks, right down to some um, looking at the REST API on the CSR1000V. And we also have another task for collaboration, which is registering a Jabber endpoint. So this Windows box here has all the information you need to do those. I would encourage you to, to, to um, try those out and see how you get on. If you're at the Cisco Live event in Las Vegas 2016, be sure to call up to us um, at the Sandbox booth in the DevNet zone. We'd be happy to answer all your questions or, or just have a general chat. Alternatively, if you're not there, uh, you can go to the information here and call the Sandbox booth. We will have an endpoint. Um, so all the information you need here, uh, you, all you need to do is register a collab endpoint, uh, Jabber client, and give us a call. So I want to thank you for your time today, and I hope that you find this topology useful if you're a newcomer to the Sandbox and just want to explore um, resources and the GUI. I want to leave you with some important links. Uh, developer.cisco.com is the main DevNet site. And also we have a communities forum uh, for the Sandbox. So if you have any questions at all, be sure to go up there and uh, log a case, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you for your time yet again. And this is Joe Cairns from the Sandbox team signing off.